Good day. Welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Grace, peace from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today we look at Psalm 80 verse 14 through verse 19. The psalm is here, which is Asaph. He says, Lord, shine down on us. He says, I'm making an appeal to Israel's great shepherd. And this appeal is to save us. He's saying he wants God to save his people whom he was disciplining by allowing them to be dishonored by their neighbors. Psalm 80 verse 1 through 7. The psalmist spoke of Israel as a vine that God had carefully planted. But had now allowed this same vine to be harvested and even destroyed by passerbys and by animals. Psalm 80 verse 8 through verse 16. He called on God to restore his people. So the shepherd is urged to restore his wandering sheep. Asaph knew one smile from the Lord God of hosts and Israel shall be saved. It is only when we come to the end of our own reserves and find ourselves worn out there is only one place to which we can flee for refuge and that is to run to God he is our refuge he is our present help when we are in trouble. God is our only hope for strength. God is the one who plant us as a branch in the vine. Therefore, we must be completely dependent on the one who planted us, who is God himself. He desires fellowship. He desires worship. He wants us to call upon his name. Psalm 80 verse 4. 14 through verse 19. It says, Return, we beseech thee, O God of hosts. Look down from heaven and behold and visit this vine and the vineyard which thy right hand hath planted and the branch that thou madest strong for thyself. It is burnt with fire. It is cut down. They perish at the rebuke of thy countenance. Let thy hand be upon the man of thy right hand, upon the son of man whom thou makest strong for thyself. So will not we go back from thee. Quicken us, and we will call upon thy name. Turn us again, O Lord, God of hosts. Cause thy face to shine, and we shall 
be saved. So the people implore the God of hosts to return to them in blessing. They want him to look down from heaven and take pity on them who's lightened to this vine. He says, the vine as you this as it is described we see that there is a vineyard he said it is your right hand who has planted it and the branch that you made you have made it strong for yourself he was really referring to not a literal vine at this time that he has branch that he has made strong but the Messiah himself. The vine has been cut down and burned by the invading armies. They deserve to perish by what a condemning frown from the Lord. When we look at verse 17 and 18, they says, Let thy hand be upon the man of thy right hand, upon the son of man, whom thou makest strong for thyself. So will not we go back from thee, quickness, and we will call upon thy name. The man of God's right hand is the Lord Jesus. Psalm 110 verse 1, Hebrews 1 and verse 3, Hebrews 8 1, and 10 12 the son of man is the title by which he most frequently spoke of himself in the gospels full and complete blessings will only come to israel when he is given his proper place then israel will never backslide again revived by the Lord. Thank God for the refuge he offers us and the blessings that he showers on us. Yes, when we feel as if we cannot go on, we can ask him once again to renew our strength. We can ask him to help us, give us the direction for the road ahead. And like Asaph today, we can say, Lord, shine down on us from heaven above, and we will be saved. God bless you. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe, it is free. Please like, share, also comment, and don't forget to visit my YouTube channel, Daily Med with Lady V.